Hello everyone and welcome to my EFL Championship score predictions for game week 21. It is the final week before we go into the World Cup break. So let's get straight into it with the first game being Birmingham City against Sunderland at St Andrews. And well, I've got to mention there were a few midweek games uh, yesterday on, on Tuesday uh, which were the rearranged fixtures from previous postponements. Um, so Birmingham City played Swansea City last night uh, for one of the rearranged fixtures. It ended in a 2-2 draw. Troy Deeney with that equaliser in injury time. Uh, fully deserved a point Birmingham City in that game. It was a very close game. Very good game as well. Lots of attacking football being played. Um yeah, against Sunderland though, who did pick up a 1-0 defeat to Cardiff City um, last Saturday. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for a draw in this one, another draw. I'll go for a 1-1 this time. Uh, yeah, Sunderland, I just feel like since the start of the season, they've kind of just dropped off a little bit now, but still don't underestimate, in, uh, uh, straight, underestimate them in this one. So I'll go for a 1-1 draw. And then we'll, we'll next up, we'll, we'll move on to Bristol City against Watford. Watford with their 2-0 victory over Reading last night, now sees them in the top six, currently in fifth place, playing against the Bristol City side. That's not won in their last four games. They drew 1-1 to Middlesbrough last Saturday. Uh, Middlesbrough also picked up a very good 3-0 uh, victory over Blackpool. Got to mention that, but we'll come on to them in, in a moment's time, just yesterday evening. But for this one, I've got to back Watford again um, to pick up all three points. And... I'll back both sides to score because Bristol City, they always find a way to somehow score a goal. But I'll go, I'll just go for 2 1 victory to Watford in this one. And then we'll move on to Cardiff City against Sheffield United. Sheffield United currently third place, defeating their last game. Same really with Cardiff City as well. Cardiff lost 3 2 to Hull City last night. Sheffield United. Also lost 1-0 to Rotherham United in last night's game as well. I think Sheffield United will get back to winning ways and Cardiff City going to continue their struggles. I don't think they'll be able to score one, although they did manage to score two in the last game. But against Sheffield United, I think it'll be a bit too tough. I'll go 2-0, victory for the Blades in this one. And then we'll move on to Coventry City against Queen's Park Rangers. Coventry City, I know they had games in hand, but they were still struggling with the games that they were playing. But... All of a sudden, they're in the uh, the top half of the table now, currently in 12th place, playing against Queen's Park Rangers that are still just holding on to that 6th place spot, but currently in a bit of a spot of bother. No victories in their last four games. I'm going to say a victory for Coventry in this one, and I'm going to go for a narrow 1-0 victory here. Queen's Park Rangers, probably the favourites for this one, but I just the form that they currently are in and the form that Coventry City are currently in. I've got to put back three points uh, for Cov City in this one. And then Huddersfield Town is next against Swansea City, where this one, phew, Huddersfield Town, don't know how they managed to beat Queen's Park Rangers 2-1 in their last game, but they did. Really good goal by Josh Ruffles. Two really good ones, actually, to be precise. And, well, the equaliser, of course, after Queen's Park Rangers taking the lead in the first two minutes. Then there's that wonder strike um, to, to make it 1-1. And then Huddersfield somehow managed to win the game, considering the form that they are in. Still bottom of the table in 24th place. Coming up against the Swansea side that picked up maybe quite a few draws as of late. Of course, picked up the 2-2 draw against Birmingham City. Probably should have held off for all three points, but it didn't happen. Huddersfield Town still in some struggling form back at the John Smith Stadium at home for Huddersfield. I've got to back Swansea to pick up a victory here. I'm, I'll back both sides to score once again, but I've got to go for a 2-1 victory to Swansea in this one. Then next up, we've got Hull City against Reading. This one's going to be a t tight one to predict. Hull City and Reading currently on a mixed bit of form. Hull City, good victory last time out, 3-2 victory. Over Cardiff City and Reading. Defeat to Watford, as I did mention, um, last uh, last night. And uh, also on the Saturday, the, well, it was actually on the Friday night kickoff, the 2-1 the, the defeat to Preston North End as well. <sighs> yeah, I think... I think... I don't know what to think. I think Hull's just going to nick this one. I'm going to go for a 2-1 again. Both sides to score. Home advantage. Really tough one, this one. Both teams... 
anything could happen. Um, so yeah, I'll go for the home side uh, to win that one, 2-1. Luton against Rotherham United. Next up, uh, Luton Town. 2-0 defeat to Stoke City in their last game. Rotherham United picked up a good 1-0 victory against Sheffield United. At Kenilworth Road in this one, always a tough place to go. I'm going to go for a draw though. I think Rotherham United will be able to will be able to hold off for a draw here and a point apiece, 1-1. Next up, Norwich against Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough's life under Michael Carrick is going pretty is going pretty well. Against the Norwich City side though, who have had a few struggling games, but they've also picked up some good wins as well. At Carra Road in this one, I've I've got to back Norwich to to win this one. I'm going to go 2-0. I think Norwich will get a comfortable win here. Although Middlesbrough, they've been they've been scoring quite a few lately. Scored three against Blackpool as I, as I did mention just before three 0 victory against Blackpool. Scored three against Hull City as well in a 3-1 victory against them. But I don't think they'll be able to score in this one. I'll go for a 2-0 victory to Norwich City. And then it's on to Deepdale, Preston's final game before the World Cup. Can we finish it in the top six? Obviously, depending on what other results go like. Mainly like the Queen's Park Rangers one or the Watford and Norwich one in there. Um, but coming up against the Millwall side, who have not won in their last three games. They picked up a 0-0 draw against Hull City in their the game last Saturday, Preston of course beat Reading on Friday night, um, two one away from home. Yeah, I, I I think we'll go into the World Cup with with four games unbeaten, but I do think that this one is going to end a draw. I'll back both sides to score. I'll go for a one one draw though. I'll take it. Would be nice to go in with on the back of four wins, but I'll take the points and yeah, I'll go for a one one in here. It'll be a good point, I reckon. And then next up, we've got West Bromwich Albion against Stoke City. Stoke City, good victory last time out, but is it going to continue on to to the Hawthorns here, where West Brom currently are in the relegation zone, but a victory here will see them, uh, obviously depending on what, what happens with the Blackpool game, a victory here will see them out of the relegation zone. And, well, I think they've maybe just slightly turned their form around. And there's two teams here that I think you don't know what's going to happen on the night so it's really going to be you know a mystery game this one because any side could pick up any result i'll back the home side i'll back both sides to score i'll go 2-1 victory to west bromwich albion and then next up is wigan against blackpool wigan's form currently not the greatest um yeah blackpool as well not doing the best I'll go for a draw in this one. I'll go, I'll go one-one. Yeah, I, I, nothing really much more about this one. And then we'll finish off with the final game, which is Burnley against Blackburn Rovers, the big one, East Lancashire Derby. <sighs> well, Burnley, they lost five-two to Sheffield United last Saturday. Blackburn Rovers, they picked up a nice 1-0 victory against Huddersfield Town in their last game last Saturday. Coming into this one, though, away from home. Big derby, though. Form really goes out the window, but I do reckon Burnley should win this one. Um, but, yeah, I think there'll be some goals. Uh, I'm going to go for a high scorer, 3-2. Why not? Let's have some fun for a big derby game like this. Um, and, yeah, Burnley to pick up all three points. Now, there are some fixtures down below here which we can see this one i've already predicted because this one is one of the rearranged fixtures of course this game will be happening after the world cup the rearranged fixture but i do think it will still end a 1-1 draw so i will keep that prediction there so yeah that'll be it if you did enjoy please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel and i will see you all in my next video